Welcome to Supper Dinner Theater. This time we are in Sister City at Angel Sanctuary, where Medoc is meeting with uh, Lenore in his uh, private study. Uh, oh, Len please come in. Oh. Uh, the door opens and Lenore uh, actually first pokes her head around the corner. Hello? Over here. I'm sorry about the lights. I kind of prefer a little bit on the dark side. Oh, no, that that's no problem. And Lenore walks in and she's just looking around, noticing a lot of books which brings a smile to her face as she remembers the old days when it, she was still in university. And she actually looks almost relaxed uh, because the place is so well, neatly cleaned and stuff. And she's walking over to Murdoch and says, well, you, you called for me? Oh, yeah, we needed to have a discussion. Please have a seat. Murdoch moves towards the, you can choose between bean bags or a proper chair. Uh, Lenore is taking place on the chair, folding her legs. Murdoch also takes a seat. So, our pack doctors dropped by and I heard that there might be some trouble brewing. Um. Well, if you are referring to him, he is kind of frustrated lately. And yeah, I might have had something to do with that, but please don't tell him because he always seems to forget that. <laughs> uh, quite frankly, I think he might benefit from a break from duties. He seems to be a bit too stressed out. Hmm. It might be good for him to find something that he can relax with. But I'm planning on talking it over with the priest of our pack first. If it doesn't come too bad. He actually had the idea of telling me to grab a few of our pack members and go over to some bar owned by some vicars and to delete the videos. Oh, you mean that problem? He asked you to do that? Asked, screamed in a high-pitched voice. I'm going I... to pretend there is no difference. <laughs> no, at this moment I think that's the best asking he can do. <laughs> but and that's not a very smart idea. I pointed this out to him that if he doesn't trust Wickers, the person I have yet to meet, I believe, uh, to remove the videos, then just removing the videos doesn't remove the problem. And apparently you told everyone present on video that uh, your sire is someone of uh, notable heritage? Yes. he. W it it kind of came to the fact that um, our doctors asked if I could arrange a meeting with him and Miles. And I was basically, as Miles doesn't know that you, that I told you guys, I pointed out to him that that wasn't the best idea ever. I was not aware that there were actually cameras around. Uh, what do you make of this vigorous person? Mm. Well, he is the doctor of the motherfucking Prometheans. I thought that was Arthur Thane. 
Yes, well, Mr. Thane seems to have disappeared for as far as I understood the conversation between um, uh, James and Viker. He went over to... They said another sect of the Sabbath, but I've never heard of another sect of the Sabbath. So I guess it would be another part or maybe another pack. Uh, something. Uh, the... All right. That's what I get for locking myself up in my studies for too long. Anyway, my suggestion is that we'll make a Lenore to be the target of any people who decide that they want to advance themselves at your expense. Let's put it that way. Um. Uh, what what do you mean with um, making a Lenore? You mean dressing someone up like me? I mean choosing a mortal and changing them up to look as close to you as I can. And then you embracing them and them being around Mr. Graham for the foreseeable future as... Lenore. It's talking uh, to you. Okay. Um, but what would happen to me then? For yourself, I'm thinking that we could just change your facial features. But well, that would uh, be somewhat suspicious, I think. I would think picking a mortal and changing yourself into that mortal and claiming to have be having been embraced recently might work much better. Hmm. So that you mean if Eleanor gets murdered, you're still free and about. Yeah, but not as me anymore. You mean you mean this this shape changing stuff that that you do, right? Yes. Like with your clothes and everything, but that would mean you can do that with my face. Mm, give me uh, enough time to study, and I can do it with your bones as well. But yes. But that would mean that. I would cease to exist. It can still be repaired, so to speak, at a later time. How should I put it? Consider it putting on a mask, making it a show for everyone else for a month or two to see if the Prometheans actually do anything with the information. Mm -hmm. If they do, then we are short a Lenore, but you're still alive, just with a new face and new opportunities. But that will mean that if, if we do that, the other person, whoever she might be, would be in danger because of me. They would be in danger in any case. But, yes, they would be in the danger you are now. I see. It's, it's, I'm, I'm sorry, I just did not expect this. Um, and this is kind of new. No, understandable. I need Did to think about this. The other matter. At hand, are you still on Path of Humanity? Um, yeah, I've heard of that. Um, yes. Mm.
Um, Some people will go and argue against you being true, Sabat, just based on possibly being too humane. It's not necessarily quite as valid an argument as it could be, but people might go for it. Mm -hmm. Yeah, well, M Miles told me to um, to get rid of my humanity, but as of now, I'm, I've still been busy... Um, you know, getting to know the world using stuff like computers, cell phones, finding out that security cameras are actually a lot smaller these days than they were in the 80s. <laughs> Maybe I can help with that side of things too, and it would actually probably reduce the amount of duties you will have to do on the mansion side. Because there will be a Lenore there to handle those things. Well, I have not been, like I said, I've not been doing very much lately. Reading up, trying out new stuff and getting that place clean. Because you do not want to believe what Yo-Yo comes dragging in in that mansion sometimes or... James sometimes walks in. One time he walked in looking as if he came straight out of the sewers. Oh my god, the smell was horrible. Which is part reason why I'd suggest the you would consider bringing that new face, new you, in as my assistant. And... What would my duties be then? Well, during the night time, maintain the cleanliness of the official side. Mm -hmm. uh, see any people who can visit. Basic stuff that all the model side has to deal with. And on the hour side of things, the important things. I'd focus a bit more on uh, teaching you the things you need to know to be counted among the truths about. Get you out of the habit of thinking of humans as anything beyond resources. I see. Um, yeah. I must say the idea still scares me a little bit of just giving up my face and appearance and my name. I mean, my name is all what's what was left. I mean, but well, James mentioned something of, of that we have to shed our name to find what we are. So might as well start with that. Mm -hmm. And on those grounds, I will have to think, uh, have to ask, what do you think of James in general terms and as a doctor? He's uh, irresponsible. How do you mean? Well, he does these things. He does things on a whim without thinking them through and without considering the risk that is involved for basically everyone within the pack, especially because he as doctors has responsibility for us in a way. So what he does reflects on what we are and who we are and how we are viewed by the rest. He is... Um, He has freedom, in a, he holds it in high regard, and I respect him for that, but if you are a doctor of a pack, I think that would come with a certain responsibility, and I think he should be a little bit more responsible. But then again, he does look after us, and if anything impairs our freedom, he will immediately jump in. I don't really like the fact that he and Yo-Yo are so often in conflict with one another. Mm. 
I take it it's just their unique way of doing things. But the if he were to step down, become just one more of the pack members, mm -hmm. who would you see step up for the duties? I don't know actually. I never really thought about that. Um Well, Yo-Yo is a priest, and for as far as I know, he's doing an okay job of it. I mean, and there's Havoc. I think he wouldn't want to be in the spotlight. Mm. Sarai is, I guess, too new. And God knows I can't do it. I'm too fragile, I know it. I'm just not capable enough of handling myself in this society. That's just a question of time. So, well, if, if you really want to look at it that way, if James were to step down, I think you would be the most logical choice, unless Yo-Yo wants to step up as doctors and then we need another priest which would bring, again, the same issues with it. Mm, all right. I'm glad to hear we're thinking along the same lines. I will take it up with Yo-Yo if I possibly can within the few nights. I'm not planning a, what would be the correct term, a palace coup here. But I'm thinking James is one bad minute away from self-destructing and possibly taking the pack with him. He needs a break, at least. I wonder how we'll take the news. I, I, don't, I don't know. You might be right, but... Um, James does his best to look out for us. I can see that. Once I you're have... in the pack, he... Will go. It will put himself at risk to make sure that we are okay. At least that's what I think. What I see. I value him highly, and if he wasn't in the condition he I last saw him in, I wouldn't feel obliged to leave my studies alone and step up and become more social. Uh, that condition I might have had something to do you. with me. And what? I said that condition might have had something to do with me. I I thought if I would increase his frustration just a little, he might be able to vent everything off, and then after it, after the effects wore off, he would be more capable of. Well, you know, relaxing a little bit. I think I overdid it. Kindly try and avoid doing it to me without my specific request. And secondly... Well, he was already accusing me of having... It, uh, or of, of, of upping his emotions like that. So you decided that since you're going to get accused of, you might as well earn it. I sort of like that. And as I said, I was hoping that it would be, for him, it would be an opportunity to let go. And then after the effects wore off, that he might find some peace again. Well, the thing is, we'll bring it up with him. I hope it'll... Uh be without any challenges of that sort. I'm personally thinking that it would be better if it went peacefully. He steps down, I step up, and he gets to calm down a bit. Maybe go out and throw a few people off a roof or something. <laughs> oh, he already, already does that on a regular basis, if I may believe him. Yeah, I'm not... Going to limit At least he, on that he did that to me. <laughs> he does it to everyone. I guess. 
And that's actually fine by me. It toughens us up. How does it toughen you up to get thrown out of a building? If anything, it'll get you killed. Mm, did you survive it? Uh, yeah, but I landed on him. Oh, you got the soft landing. You're going to have to try again. Uh, hell no. There's ways to... Outside of the clan discipline, the clan talents I have, to toughen your body. To be able to take impacts that would kill humans. What you mean by you? You mean to use blood to toughen yourself? I know Blood how to do that. And fortitude as a discipline. Fortitude. I have not heard of that. The Ventru, among others, have it. It is it the ability for your skin to harden to such a degree that it may even for a few moments shrug off sunlight. Well, that's useful. Now, most stories about people testing their fortitude with sun end up with ashes. <laughs> yes, it's always just that one second, isn't it? Yeah. And usually it's just that one second too much, but it is a very useful thing I've been meaning to ask James if he'd mind instructing even me about it. It's not the same thing to craft an armor or to wear an armor or to have that. Mm -hmm. I think he'll do it. Mm. I'll need to save that discussion after I've had to talk with the priest and we've sorted this issue out. If it goes the way I see it going, he'll step down, become one of the path members, I'll step up, and he can relax a bit and keep doing the things he likes and considers fun. Jumping off buildings being one of them. <laughs> Yes, that would definitely be one of them, I think, yeah. I might be able to help with the relaxing, but let's first see if... Um, well, maybe I handled poorly by increasing his frustration, but... Uh, I'd suggest leaving them... Give him some distance. He's on a roller coaster ride already. Mm-hmm. So let's not make it worse by dropping him into depression or something. Uh, no. <laughs> and besides, if he's that frustrated about the duties, maybe he'll enjoy being a pack member for a few moments, and when he's ready to assume the duties, I get to shirk them off on him and return back to my studies. Hmm. It's the one thing of a luxury we truly possess. Time. There seems to be plenty of it, yeah. Ah, which reminds me. Now, if you become someone new, mm -hmm. I can graft that someone new, new clothing. Especially if they are living here. And they would not be restricted by, well, any restrictions Lenore had. No, that's true, I guess. It depends. Would my sire not be able to recognize me? We might want to bring him on board on the... By the way, that might not be your child, but we want you to behave and act like she was. Mm -hmm. But he's already acting like I'm not existing, so... Well, that's one way of going about things. <laughs> I mean, there was a reason why he didn't want anyone to know that 
I was his child. I don't know. I might. Maybe I'm just a big disappointment to him. I'm thinking it's more the thing that most of us will guess that a bishop is strong in the blood. And the strong in the blood bishop, creating childer, however young, will mean that they are also strong in the blood. And then you have the people going, well, if I can make the case it's not through Sabbat, or if I can get away with assassinating it, I might become stronger in blood instead. <laughs> hmm. Yeah, considering the fact that they already killed off his other childers after really? I... Really? Yeah, um, he told me, but he didn't know who it was. But basically when he retrieved me from the pools, and she actually shivers for a moment, um, there were more. But... A few nights later, all of them were killed. At least I think it was a few nights later. I don't know exactly. All right. That actually makes the whoever it was the threat to be a genuine one, I think. I guess so. So... But just a question. Because hmm? you were saying that um, the other one who was who will be looking like me then, if, if I would um, embrace them or would turn them, wouldn't they be potent as well? A little bit less, of course, I get that, but wouldn't they still be as potent? They wouldn't be as potent, but they might be potent enough to fool anyone who... Try to strengthen themselves to convince them that Lenore is dead. Ah, oh, that's true. That will actually be the bad outcome of the. Even if Lenore, a Lenore, gets killed. Sorry, I had to. Uh... Yeah. Oh my God. <laughs> Even if a Lenore gets killed, there's still the Lenore around. I see. Okay. Well, we can always try, and she might not get killed. She might actually prove to be a valuable addition to the pack at some point. For well, now, she will be a shovel head, but. There's worse places to start in Zabat. Hmm. Well, she doesn't have to go through all the trouble of finding a pack. And she'll have James to advise and guide her along the pack. Mm hmm. Okay, so how do we find this woman? We? Yeah. Remember when I suggested that I'd help you with that pesky humanity thing? Yeah. Congratulations. We'll start with you finding a person whose face you'd like to have. You want me to go pick out a woman who might get killed and who, well, who is actually going to get killed because she will be embraced. Pick out a woman whom you are going to kill and steal their identity thereof. Yes. Oh, right, yeah. Um, it makes you can sense. make it two women if you want to. Two women? One to steal the identity from, and the other to take your place. But what would we do with the one whom we steal the identity from, then? Well, clearly she is not who she was, and I will need some blood to do my work. 
and be a shame just to bury her with all that blood in her, wouldn't it? He wants to kill her. Of course. Uh, how stupid. Yeah. Okay. Um, sure. Um, I'll see if I can find one or two women that might be useful. Has James showed you how to strengthen your muscles with the blood? It has been shown to me, yes. Okay, then you're well equipped to handling it to humans, aren't you? I guess. Yeah, I guess, yeah. And you will want to keep the bone structure as close to your own as possible. Mm-hmm. No skin be changed. I can maybe change the height a bit, but if your skeletal structure needs to change, there might be hammers involved. Yeah, that wouldn't be too pleasant. Yeah, and I'd strongly suggest avoiding that, because then we go into a whole new field of experimentation with my current skills. Okay, so you want two women who look, well, not completely similar, but who, whose bone structure looks similar, and one of them is going to be me, and the other one, well, I'm going to be the other one. Yeah. Okay. More, more information you can find about the per persons, all of them actually the better for you. Okay. And how good is your other talents of the blood? Aside from hiding people's emotions, well, I suppose? Well, I can see pretty well. You know, see stuff others can't. And James has been teaching me to dominate. Okay. Uh, you can heal the transformations I do, I think. So that'll be easy enough for you. I'll craft you a momentary mask for now. So you don't get picked okay. up from the streets alone. Have you given your own smell of thought? My own what? Smell. Smell? Yes. What do I? And she's immediately actually going to check if she is dirty or if there's any smell coming off of her. <laughs> no, 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 no. All of us have natural smells. I deal with the dogs and other animals so much that they actually identify most people by their smell. I see. Well, I, I usually... I wash myself like three or four times a day and I... I don't think you can really smell much else than cleaning products. I would suggest the first thing you do is look up some perfumes. Mm -hmm. If you don't use them, that would be good. And for the cleaning products, maybe dial it down if you possibly can. I can. It doesn't have to be that high because the explanation will be that you're helping here. So this sniffs the air. A level of scent is understandable. Yeah, you smell a heavy bleach uh, scent, of course. But you will have to dial it down a little bit. I can try and use... Um... Scented ones. Yeah. 
can try it. And uh, I will see if I will burn blood for this one. Dexterity uh, magician. We'll burn a little PowerPoint just to make certain that I don't botch and turn you into a Nosferatu. <laughs> Rather not. <laughs> if I succeed, your appearance rating should stay the same. I'll just craft the changes. This I'm not looking for specific, so difficulty eight, I'm guessing. That's a good use of a willpower point, isn't it? Oh, yes. <laughs> One, two. Two successes. You are still Caucasian. You are still uh, all things you generally used to be. But your facial structure is slightly different. You're a bit more pale, a bit more gaunt. Mm -hmm. And uh, it's just small rearrangement. Enough to make you appear like someone close to Lenore, but not Lenore. There you go. He's just taking a bow off his hands from the... Here's a mirror. He actually has a mirror in a cupboard he opens to show you. Hmm. I can still see that It's me, but it looks, I don't know, different? Interesting. Like someone with an uncanny resemblance to you, but not you. Let me see, so should I call myself differently now? Probably. But I'm kind of hoping you won't engage in discussions with anyone but the pack until you get the... Mm -hmm. Yeah, I get that. Well, I wasn't... <laughs> I didn't have too many contacts with others, so that shouldn't be too much of a problem. All right. Uh... All right. That'll do it. And I hope you can get those other individuals into my parlor as soon as possible so we can get a more permanent solution going. Yeah, I'll go look for them uh, tomorrow or so. All right. I am terribly sorry to be throwing you out into the cold, but there's a few mm. things I need to look after. And I'm thinking you'd probably not want to see me do those things. <laughs> probably not. And with that, Lenore stands. And she is uh, actually going to extend her hand to shake Murdoch's, which is something she doesn't usually do. And Murdoch will extend his gloved hand. <laughs> And uh, you can feel, by the way, through the uh, through the uh, glove, you can still feel that her skin is almost icy, cold. Mm -hmm. Well, um, we'll see each other sh soon. I'm hoping we will. Uh, I hope you don't object to my little plans. I still have to get used to the idea, but I guess it'll just, it's just going to take some time, I guess. Me too. And uh, yet I prefer to live another day. <laughs> so. Medic will actually walk Lenore out to the front door and wish her a good evening. Well, same to you. Before returning back inside to check on uh, check 
and advance one of his projects. I'm still burning blood for this one to keep the dexterity. Actually, I don't need to because it's technically the same scene, but I'll account for it in blood anyhow. And uh, we'll go to work on those changes he has designed. It will be six, seven, eight dice. And one more willpower. Best use of a willpower point ever. Okay, I'll call it a success unless I'm told otherwise by an administrator. And that will end the scene. Thank you, everyone.